welcome back to my channel. Uh, first off, I just want to say, let me know what you think of this lighting down in the comments below. I'm in a different area at the moment. I have filmed another video in the same area uh, with the same lighting, but I don't know which video is going to go up first. But we will get into this video because as you can tell from the title below, this is only part one because I have a crap load of eBay finds sitting right beside me. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first things that I picked up randomly are these bad boys. These are the W7 um, eyeshadow palettes. They are supposed to be dupes for the Naked palettes. Ah, hmm. I've used these a couple of times and I do not like the pigmentation of them. A lot of people is probably going to be really annoyed with me saying that, but I just don't think they're that good. I Am I supposed to be using them with a wet brush or... I they're just The pigmentation just doesn't come off well. This is actually, I opened the one that I haven't actually used. But this one's supposed to be the dupe for the Naked 3 because this is like the rose gold kind of colours. When you swatch them, they're very chalky. When you swatch them, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But the pigmentation isn't bad at all. Like, at all. That one's a bit chalky. <sighs> but, like, especially for the darker shades, pigmentations are great. Absolutely great. But... But, let's see, you can't even see that middle shade on the camera. You can't see it at all. But they just don't seem to work for me at all. I am going to give them more of a chance. I will try them out again. But they just they just aren't working for me at all. I'll quickly show you the other shades. That one was in the nude. This one is in the buff. This one I have used. And again, pigmentation was not great. This one I think is supposed to be... The dupe for the naked one I believe it is the next one is in the night this one has some lovely purples which looks really dark on the screen um, but they have some really nice purples and shimmery shades in there not enough matte shades for transitions but and this one is called lightly toasted I believe this one is supposed to be a dupe for the naked two which I do have so I might do a comparison video but still no pigmentation at all. I will leave a link in the description bar for all these products including these. I'm not going to give up on them just yet. Okay so I'm just going to have to get started. I apologize if you can hear people downstairs but the next things that I'm going to talk about are brushes. This one I really apologize if you can hear that. Um, there are people in my house right now and I'm trying to film this and trying to get a leg and it's like just please work for me. Okay, so this one is supposed to be a dupe for the It's Cosmetic brushes. I don't have the It's Cosmetic brushes because you can't get them over here. But this is a giant, like it is the palm of my hand, giant powder brush. Well, that's what I use it for because what else are you going to use this bad boy for? Um, but it's just brilliant to quickly, easily put on your powder. Um, I really like it. I will leave a description for the one if I can find it down below. These come in all different prices so it doesn't have the It's Cosmetic label on it but that's what apparently it's supposed to be a dupe for. I don't know because you don't get It's Cosmetics in um, Northern Ireland but yeah. The next brush I have is this Real Techniques one. Again this is a dupe for it. I thought this would be really good for putting powder or blending some concealer in or even doing a wee bit of highlight above your brow or below your brow um, but yeah I just kind of use this for a lot of things well, I use it mostly for highlighter the next one I just picked up a couple of them these brushes everybody loves these brushes sorry my phone's gone off I picked up one of the face brushes I have the full set of 10 of them and they're rose gold I think you get five face brushes and five eye brushes I believe that's what there is um, but you have like a bigger one and then you have this one which is the second biggest I believe and these are really nice for foundation but yeah I have used these before I just really like them they're nice and soft they're dense which I kind of like for putting on uh, foundation because it's really easy to blend it in and to get that fuller coverage 
but I just thought these are really nice and they're really handy. If you don't want to spend the money for an Artis brush, go and check out these bad boys. And I do believe that other companies are getting on the bandwagon. If you want to go into Boots and Superdrug and stuff, you could probably pick up some of them. I have this giant, giant set that comes like this. And it unravels for you to have 24 makeup brushes. <laughs> you literally have every makeup brush that you possibly need in this one kit. So if you're just starting off and you have 20 quid to spare, get this makeup set. This makeup set is brilliant. I cannot rave about this enough. As you can tell, some of my brushes are dirty because I have used them. But I just, I love these makeup brushes. So just for example, I used this one today. This is the foundation brush. It's a small foundation brush, so I didn't use it for foundation. I actually used it for the pick and see land my eyes. Um, so you don't actually have to use these brushes for what they're actually there for. I never do. Um, this one I used for a wee bit of blusher. I didn't use it today though. Um, I used this like tapered brush to put powder underneath my eyes um contour brush really lovely what else have we got we have an eyebrow brush oh you can see that we have an eyeshadow brush to pack on the eyeshadow on the lid we have blending brushes we have crease brushes there's just so many. There's even a brush here that you can take with you traveling. So this is actually a lip brush that you can take with you and you put, oh, you put the wee lid on and voila, you put it into your bag. Off you go. I think that's fantastic. I think they should actually make like a whole set of brushes like that. That would be really good and handy for traveling. Moving on, moving on. Lashes from eBay actually. Most of my lashes come from eBay. So these ones are just, I don't even know what they're called. I will try and find these down in the description bar below for you. They're plastic. Just nice and wispy eyelashes that um, are a wee bit more dramatic for me personally to wear. So there's them and all these were a pound as well. Um, there's these ones, I don't know how to pronounce that name. So hopefully you can see it and you can pronounce it yourselves. You can kind of see these are really dramatic ones. I'm like holding my hand. They look super, super big in the viewfinder. Of course you can't go on eBay without picking up some of these, which are the red chai lashes. There are a couple of different ones here, I believe, yeah. So I have three of the Red Cherry 747S, just like that. And then we have some of the wispies that everybody knows and loves. Also have some of these ones. I do not know what this brand is or what it says. They're thick on one side and thinner on the other side. So this is the corner. So yeah, I love them and I have used loads of them in the past. So, okay, so the other thing that I bought from eBay are these. These are, I don't even know what you call these. They're not like tweezers, but that's what they were called on eBay. But they're more like eyelash tweezers, so I apply my eyelashes with these just because, if you can see that, um, it has like a bend and a point to it instead of like a straight line. These are a lot simpler to get your eyelashes on with, so I use them. There is two pairs of them. There's ones where it's just straight up points and then there's one with a bend. These are great. These were only two for a pound as well, I believe. So they were brilliant. Next thing, I don't believe you're going to be able to get this, but if I can find one, I will put it in the link below. But this was an auction for me. This is one of the ColourPop um, Ultra Matte Lips. The person that was selling this did tell me that it was scratched a wee bit and that it was only swatched. It was never used. But because, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I can... I can never really trust sellers on eBay. It's not that I don't trust them, it's I'm very cautious for what they're selling. So when I bought this I made sure that I took the, the applicator off and I cleaned the brush and washed everything down 
before I actually tried putting it on my lips and all just for sanitary reasons you don't actually have to do that it's totally up to you but I did it but if I didn't mention before this is an avenue it's just a really nice red I'm gonna swatch it for you because I am excited to wear this I want to kind of say that it's a a post box red um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that properly um, but yeah it's just absolutely gorgeous 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 color I really like that I should have worn for this video but I didn't um, but yeah I really like that um, I can't remember how much this actually cost me if I remember I will leave it in the description below it's my first color pop lippy so I thought I would really get some use out of this so yeah and last for this video because this video is going to be super long is this it is a 15 pan eyeshadow now looking in the finder a lot of these look the same yes they do um there's this lovely like mauve color in the center these are super pigmented i was really scared to get these in case they weren't pigmented like look at that white they are super pigmented there is a couple of browns in here that are similar these three here are pretty much the same some of these lighter shades like these two are pretty much the same but there's a couple in here that you could use for your eyebrows just to like set them and stuff but they're super pigmented they're a wee bit chalky I will admit when you're putting them on some of them come off a little bit better than the other ones do but they're super pigmented I kind of I really like them so they were super cheap as well they were only a couple of pounds so why not pick yourself up a couple of these especially if you're doing makeup on other people i do makeup on friends and family i don't really do like freelance or anything like that but i do do on friends and family and these come in really handy when i don't want to use like my personal stuff on people but yeah some of these are really good to pick up i'm trying to get this off so yeah guys that is it for part one of this video but I hope you like this video. Like I said, the whole way through this video, I will leave links and prices and stuff like that in the description below so that you guys can go and pick whatever you like out of this haul in the description bar below and you can pick them up and say what you like yourselves. If you do pick them up, please leave me a comment and tell me how you like the product, if you didn't like the product, what you would use instead or what you liked more than this product. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Do you like these kind of videos? Because I like watching these kind of videos, so that's why I'm doing one of them. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below if you want more videos like this, if you want me to try some of these products on, on like an eBay tutorial. I don't know, but um, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button as well also if you want to hit that subscribe button you will also be notified by me and yeah if you do mwah, love yous and i will see you in the next video bye guys uh-huh let's get this thumbnail uh-huh uh-huh let's get this thumbnail okay stop acting like an idiot